Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Habakkuk, I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles, elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom, while Barak thumb to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world. To you, I say Shalom. Turn your back on the Lord, and he's going to turn his back on you. All right? And someone might ask, how could you turn your back on the Lord? Simple. There's, a, there's numerous ways you can turn your back on the Lord. First and foremost, by knowing his name and not calling on him. Okay? By um, forsaking his prophets. All right? Faking in front like you in the truth, but you really don't believe. All right? That, that's turning your back on the Lord. Okay? And when you do that, he's going to turn his back on you. You think the Lord is going to set up a standard for those that's half ass, half ass in this truth, one foot in the truth, one foot in the world, but still got dreams and aspirations in the world. If you're not 100% in this, the Lord is going to, you're turning your back on the Lord, okay? And the Lord is going to turn his back on you in your time of calamity. He's going to laugh when your calamity comes because you're not diligent and you didn't hearken into his words, okay? Because hey, we're coming into the heavy times where you're going to need someone to call on, all right? And if you don't believe in the name of when you're shy to, to the, to the, to the hundred and forty four percent, all right. That that those are the true names. Those are the, the, the those are the names of uh, the heavenly Father and His Son, the Deliverer. He is. He is the and He is the Deliverer. All right. The Lord's going to the Lord. The Lord's not dealing with you. All right. The Lord is going to say, "Depart from me, you workers of iniquity." I never knew you. All right. He's going to literally turn His back on you. All right. He you know you you think that you're in good uh, uh uh in a good case right now. You think the Lord is dealing with you. If you don't, if you're not diligent in this, if you're not, if you lukewarm, the Lord is going to turn his back on you. The Lord is not dealing with you. All right. So let me hop right into the scriptures. Because Jake think that, you know, this is Jake think this is a joke. Jake think that, you know, you can half step in this truth. All right. Jake think that they can, you know, try to fool, the, try to pull it over on the, on the most high and his son. All right. And, and, and hey, at the end of the day, the, the, Yahweh Bashim is going to have the last lap. All right, because they, they they have the keys to salvation. All right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter one and verse 20, uh, sorry, 22. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. All right. You reject this knowledge. You're turning your back on the heavenly father because this knowledge is the true wisdom and understanding of the creator and his son. All right. So like you real quick, real quick. So I'm dealing with these allergies and I'm all stuffed up, but hey. The true wisdom and the true wisdom and knowledge come from the heavenly Father and His Son. All right, you turn your back on the on His prophets, you're turning your back on the true wisdom and knowledge. Okay, you're turning your back on salvation. All right, salvation is if you Jakes that know the truth that are that 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 have a zeal of the Most High. All right, that that understand that you're an Israelite. Hey, hey, it's time to put put a hey, it's time to put it in full gear, man. All right, it, it ain't time to be sitting your hands thinking that. You know, okay, you know, I'm going to go down to the camp this week. I'm going to go down to the camp this week. I got some questions, and I'm not sure. Hey, you better ask your questions. You better go out there and be diligent and, and make your calling and election sure. All right? Verse 24, because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. He's calling you, okay, but you refuse. You're refusing knowledge. You're refusing true wisdom. Okay, you're turning your back on the Lord. Okay? If you don't truly believe in the names of the Lord and Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and you still got Jesus Christ in the back of your mind somewhere, the Most High is not dealing with you, and he's going to turn his back on you because he's going to say, he's going to know. He knows our thoughts. He said, yo, you nigga, you, you, still, you still believe in Jesus Christ. You still believe Jesus Christ may be the name. I'm not dealing with you because, hey, we're all, hey, in the day, we're all going to be put in an hour of temptation where we're going to have to call on the Lord, all right? And I know who I'm going to call on. I'm going to call on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, to deliver me, to, to save me in, in, in my time of need, in my time of tribulation, in my time, in my time of trouble, okay? Lord willing. You know that that the Lord instills a faith in me to uh 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 to to you know to to uh to uh, continue and endure to the end. Okay, uh, verse twenty five. But ye have said it not all my counsel and would none of my reproof, none of my correction. All right, you don't want to take correction from the Lord. You're turning your back on. Him, all right, and the correction is coming from the prophets. The correction is coming from uh the rebuke. Uh, 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 from the prophets, all right, telling you to get right because the prophets are the mouthpiece of the Lord, all right. The Most High is not going to come down and speak to you, and tell you to get right, and, and, and give you some type of lecture. No, the Heavenly Father is using His prophets, all right. We're just small vessels doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, telling you to get right, telling you to turn turn your way, uh, turn from your wicked, turn from your wickedness, turn from your wicked ways. Okay, repent, all right. 
I will laugh at your calamity. Yeah, I'll read, I'll read 25 again. But ye have said it not on my counsel and would not my reproof, reproof, meaning correction. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. That's the most high. And his son turning his back on you. Okay? He's going to laugh. All right? That's like a, a, a big slap in the face because you gave the most high a big slap in the face. Or right? because you were diligent. Because you uh, 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 truly didn't believe. You was uh, half-stepping in this. Okay? You think that, you know... Uh, all this is a fad and you know you 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 want to come around the brothers and and, and, and shalom and all that and, but you're not sincere the most high not dealing with you he's going to turn his back on you. he's going to laugh at calamity all right the, the prophets the elect is going to laugh at your niggas calamity too all right verse 27 when your fear cometh as desolation your destruction comes as a whirlwind and when the stress and anguish cometh upon you uh yeah, yeah. come the pool salak salak uh, come upon you, verse 28. Then shall ye call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, they shall not find me. All right, hey, the Lord's not going to answer. That's the Lord, the Heavenly Father, and His Son turning His back on you. For they that for they hated knowledge and did, and did not choose to fear the Lord. All right, hey, that's another way of turning your back on the Lord, not fearing Him. All right, how do you fear the Lord? By following His law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. That's how you ultimately fear the Lord. Okay, and it is that simple. Okay, call on His name. That's fear of the Lord. Doing what you know, doing what you know is right. Okay, because a lot of J they know what is right. They know they understand uh, 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 the laws that we can keep. They understand the Sabbath. They understand that to abstain from eating abominable foods. Okay, from stealing from your neighbor. Uh, 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 you know, uh, messing with your neighbor's wife. They understand that. All right, but do, do they do they follow it? You know. Some of them do. The majority of them don't because they, they bullshit it. All right. The most sides are dealing with you. Let me grab this in uh, the book of Luke. Actually, let me grab the one in Matthew. This is Matthew chapter. Uh, actually, uh, I'll, start, I'll start at this one, but it's another verse. I'll begin in this, uh, in this chapter. This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 32. Whomsoever there shall confess me before men. Him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. All right, confessing the Lord. When when you're brought before counselors and governors and saying, you know, uh, do you believe that you're a Hebrew Israelite? Do you believe this Hebrew Israelite thing? And da 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 da. da you know, the Esau is going to press you. All right, hey, that's when it's going to be some time to confess the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord, and, and His Son. All right, but hey, some people may say, no, I believe in Allah. I believe in Buddha. So I believe in Jesus Christ. All right, hey, that's that that. that when you do that, you're turning your back on the Lord. Therefore, he's going to turn his back on you. All right. But those that elect, they're going to confess the name of the Lord to, 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 to Esau and whoever else. All right. Confessing the name of the Lord now. All right. By, by, by a sign of crime for all the abominations. All right. Uh, uh, going out there prophesying on the street corners. All right. Putting up these lessons. All right. But whosoever shall deny me before men, I will also deny him before my father, which is in heaven. All right. So you denied Yahweh Shai, and hey, Yahweh Shai is going to deny you before the, the Heavenly Father in heaven. All right? So it's that simple. All right? It, it's just cut and dry. All right? Yeah. If you're, you're true to the Lord, do his work, do his will, follow his laws, it, 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 statutes and commandments to the best of your ability, call his name. Okay? Be sincere and, and, and true and, and put faith in those names. Put faith in the Heavenly Father and his Son. Okay? Because that's what the Heavenly Father is looking for. He's looking for to see if you got faith. When you're, when you're in your worst situation that you're in, you're, you're in dire need of help. Uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, you, you, you're back into a corner. The most high wants to see, all right. Are you going to call upon him? Are you going to lean upon him? All right. Or are you going to try to take things into your own hands? Or are you going to lean on Esau or right, for, for a resolution to the problem? Okay. That's what the most high is looking for. Or will you deny him before men? Okay. The elect is not going to deny him. The elect is going to continue to confess, confess, the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai until death. All right? Let me see. Uh, let me jump to uh, Matthew 5 and verse 10. Actually, I'm going to jump back to that chapter. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and ye shall and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. All right, that's going to happen, and some men are going to are, are on a backpedal. All right, but some men don't like to be talked about. Some men don't like to be gossiped about. All right, because they're really emotional. At the end of the day, 
you know, that the, the elect could give a could, could give a f about what this world thinks. All right, because we know, you know, that we're not of this world. All right, the elect is not of this world. Lord, we'll have all part of the elect. Hopefully, elect. Okay, all right, but we know people. People talk shit down. All right, but there's nothing we can do about it. All right, we and we could we could care less. All right, we what 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 matters to us is what we're doing in the eyes of the heavenly Father. All right, are we doing His work? Are we being diligent? Okay, I'll read through 11 again. Blessed are they when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Okay, for, for, for the heavenly father's sake, for his son's sake. Men will say all types of shit. They're going to say that we're rapists, we're pedophiles. They're going to just drag our names to the mud. All right, where we're no one in this wicked society is not going to want to even look at us. They're just going to look at us with this disdain and, you know, I, I thought you were a good guy and this, this, and this. Hey, screw this world and these people, man. All right. But hey, some Jake's out there that's in the truth, that's in the know, all right, are gonna backpedal when these times come. All right. Hey, you Jake's out there, hey, you gotta hey, you gotta get grounded in this. Pray more. All right, fast if you got to. All right, hey, do the work. All right. Verse 12. And be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. All right. And through reincarnation, the prophets are back. All right, so the prophets were persecuted before, and then this last go around, this 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 last uh uh this 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 uh this uh, uh what do you what can I call it uh this 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 uh you know the end of the end of the Esau society you could say the men of the Lord are going to get it the worst. All right, we're going to catch hell, but hey, we know it's for a purpose. We know that there's going to be martyrs. We know that some men. All right, you're going to go through hell, but they're not going to, they're not going to perish. They're not going to die. All right. These things must come to pass because it was spoken of by the prophets of old and the prophets are back today. So, you know, through reincarnation, these things must take place. Okay. But back then the prophets didn't give in to Esau's demands. The prophets didn't give in to the, uh, uh, uh to the demands of the heathens, eating abominable flesh. Okay. Uh, doing all matter of wickedness. All right. For, for you, for righteousness sake. And hey, these days they're not going to do it either. Okay, uh, let me jump back over to Matthew 10 and uh, I'm going to start at 18, actually 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves and ye and be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men for they will deliver you up to councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues. All right, that's going to take place. That's going to happen. All right, it's going to be being crept in unawares, as the scripture says. You know, people that you thought was Jake's, I mean, excuse me, Jake's, people that you thought was, was sincere brothers, that's it's going to turn on you. Okay, and, and this is and this has to happen. This is prophecy. Okay, you know, like the scripture says, there are uh, 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 sheep in the, uh, I see you as sheep in the midst of wolves. All right, these niggas out here is re re really wolves trying to, you know, to destroy people. All right, verse 18, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings. For my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak. All right, so the Heavenly Father said, don't even contemplate what you're going to say, because the Heavenly Father, uh, uh, Yahweh Shibi Shah, is going to be speaking through his prophets to condemn Esau, all right, to condemn this system, all right, to condemn this beast system when, when, when the time comes. All right, so don't, don't be thinking that we want to have a script. <laughs> And, 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 you know, we're going to tell Esau this, tell Esau that. Hey, we don't know what we're going to say, all right? But we know that the Heavenly Father is going to be speaking through us and, and Esau is going to get cut. Esau, Esau is going to get cut to the heart or whatever the prophets are saying that day, all right? Those prophets that are, are, aren't going to uh, uh, bow down to Esau's demands, that's not going to uh, give in, okay? It's a lot, kid, man. I'm dealing with these allergies. They kick them off, man. So, you know, Lord willing, uh, you, know, you know, continue to push and get through this mess of damn. Uh, well, let me get this. This is another way. This is another way. A lot of Jakes in the truth turn their back on the Heavenly Father by falling out the truth. Okay, put put their hand to the proud, looking back, looking back into the world for what? What's in the world? But death. All right. This is uh, Luke chapter nine, and verse sixty-two. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of heaven. So you put your hand to this plow, you do this work, and you look back and you stop doing work. And you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. And the Most High, and Yahweh Shimei Shai got a special judgment for your ass. All right, you're gonna get jacked up. All right, because that's 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 
man, that's like a, that's a, that's a literally a slap in the face to the Most High, man. All right, you 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 know his name, you know to know to do his work, but you don't you do it for a little while and you turn back, and hey, you ain't fit for the kingdom of heaven. All right, and you may, but you are fit for a special judgment. All right. Let me grab this to back that scripture up. This is uh Second Peter chapter two and verse twenty. And it reads, For for if after they have escaped the pollution of this world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Hawashai Hamashiach, they are again entangled therein and, and overcome the latter it is worse with them than the beginning. All right, so you're gonna be worse you worse you're gonna be more worse than you were when you came in before you came into the truth. All right, your latter end is going to be in judgment, more than likely thermonuclear fire. All right, or concentrated fire from a chariot. You niggas that fell out the truth and put your head head to the plow and turn back. All right, or trying to do both, trying to be in the world and, and be in the truth. And hey, you got to pick. Hey, you got to pick either or. All right, and, and, and pretty much a lot of you niggas that's trying to do that, you already made your choice because you love this world. All right, a lot of Jakes. Hey, you you love this world. All right, that's why the Most High is going to turn his back on you. The Most High is not dealing with you ultimately. Okay. Ah, damn. Let me grab this. Uh, this is the book of Matthew. Actually, I, I, I'll end off with that. It's Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, knowledge and wisdom. Okay, and, and the, those those men that 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 of the elect are going to have that knowledge and wisdom to stay stable. All right, in in Jacob's trouble during these trying times that we're coming into. All right, and strength and salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, and, and those that think they got the wisdom, those that just play like they got the wisdom and the knowledge, they really don't got it. All right, and and really when the times come for you to use that knowledge and wisdom, those that that's faking the folk. All right, the Most High is is is, is going to put you in a situation where. You gonna know, you ain't gonna know what to do, all right. You the the, the knowledge and wisdom that you think you got is it, not gonna work in that situation, all right. But the knowledge of wisdom, the true knowledge of wisdom, of scriptures is going to work for the, the elect to get through whatever situation that they may have that they may be in, all right. Because knowledge, it, it, wisdom is 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 a, is a really a key part of this because it's the, the the scripture is knowledge of wisdom, all right. The law is knowledge of wisdom, okay. Let me see. Uh... Couple more scripts I want to grab. Cause you're gonna see, man. You're gonna see that. You're gonna see. Oh, I thought that was a brother. I thought that was a diligent brother. Yeah, he was, but he a hey, he half stepping. He not. He not. He not sincere. All right. He turned his back on the Lord. All right. Therefore, the Lord's gonna turn his back on him. All right. He turned his back and scoffed at the prophets. It's a lot of those out there. They don't. You don't realize when you scoff at the prophets, you you're literally. You're, you're, you're scoffing at the Habashim Yahweh Shai. All right, when you talk shit about the prophets and their bum your lights, they're, 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 they're the derelict camp, and they say all these, you know, matter of wicked shit about the uh, uh, the men of GMS, all right, hey, you're, you're, really, you're, you're, you're really talking shit about the Most High, okay, and his son, okay? Because we coming in that spirit. We coming in the spirit of Yahweh Habashim Yahweh Shai. We're, we're pushing this doctrine in the spirit of Yahweh Habashim Yahweh Shai. So... You know, hey, you despise him. You 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 despise his word. You despise his prophet. You despise the Most High. All right, this is the uh, the book of Luke, chapter ten, and verse uh, sixteen. He that heareth you heareth me, and he that despiseth you, excuse me, despiseth you despises me, and he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. All right, so if you despise the prophets, all right, you turn your back on the prophet. You turn your back on Yahweh Shai. You turn your back on Yahweh Shai. All right, so. At the end of the day, that that's gonna be that's hey, a lot of you niggas is already judged, man. Are you a lot of you niggas out there? These scriptures is already marked, okay? You know because you can repent, but hey, the majority of you ain't gonna repent. You know, and I would even say not not even I say maybe two percent may repent because you niggas is so so full of your pride, you so full of the pride of life and the lust of the flesh, you ain't gonna repent. You don't think that we got the truth, all right? There's a lot of jakes out there that's that's straddling the fence, thinking that is this the truth? Is this not the truth? Hey. That, and they and, and but deep down they they faking the phone. All right, the Most High got a special judgment. Most High is literally gonna. Uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna read the scripture, man. The scripture can say, say it better than I ever could. This is Matthew chapter seven and verse twenty-two. 
Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in the name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And that's what Jake going to say. Lord, Lord, remember me? Remember I did this? Remember I did this? Uh, and then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker, you that work iniquity. All right? So, hey, that's the Lord, that's the Heavenly Father and the Son turning his back on you niggas, man. Okay? I never knew you. Depart from me. You work, you, you that work iniquity. Okay? Because you, at the end of the day, a lot of you jakes ain't really right, man. But you sincere jakes out there, hey, get right, study, uh, be diligent, pray, pray more, and, 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 you know, hey, strive for salvation. All right? Ask for faith. Ask for patience. Ask for more wisdom. Okay? And, and, and ask that the Heavenly Father sup with you and open your eyes to more knowledge and more revelations, all right? More mysteries, okay? So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shibiah Shai. Until next time, I say Shalom.